I have no idea where, like, the Tesla navigation is taking me. Like, what are you doing? I just got to the charging station. It took me, like, two and a half hours to get here today because traffic was so bad. But I also didn't leave until, like, 3.30 today. So, it's currently 6.16 I'm going to plug in the car and then run into Target because this charging is like, it's the best charging honestly because it makes it go by so much faster because there's a Target here. So I can pick up any last minute little things that we need and I can also go to the bathroom because it seems like at every single charging facility that there's no Target around there, like the bathrooms are either closed or there is no access to bathrooms. So. Thank you, Target, for having charging stations close by because that's chef's kiss. I'm also going to pick up probably like a kombucha because I love kombucha. And I don't know, maybe a snack, but I don't know what kind of snack. Something to tide us over for the hour and 22 minutes left to the ranch. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do this. like two minutes to spare boy was it crazy in there um i definitely got more than what i wanted to so i got like these little non things because i was feeling like hummus so i decided to get the roasted red bell pepper kind this is hands down my favorite hummus to eat um so I'm going to snack on some of those for the remaining hour and a half that I have to get there. Um, and then I also picked up these. I don't know if it's coming in backwards, but it's like the little oyster crackers. I don't know. I like to snack on them like chips. Um, and then I did include like a little video of me grabbing these. I love these bars. They're so delicious. They remind me of when I was a kid and I used to eat like the actual Fig Newton Fig Bars. Um, and then lastly, I got this one. This kombucha is like one of my favorites. I like the Trilogy and I also like this one, the um, Kavita Raspberry Lemon one. It's one of my favorites. Um, yeah, but I have like a minute left and then I'm going to go ahead and head up on the rest of the way up to the ranch. It's probably going to be dark by the time that I get up there. So I don't know how much I'm going to be able to film of the outside. So I'll film what I can on the inside. And then kind of like update you guys on a couple of the things that I have to do when I go up there. And then also just kind of catch up because I feel like I missed doing this. And yeah, trying to get back into the swing of things. So catch you guys up on life and all things like that i don't know how my audio is sounding because currently my phone is connected to my car and charging just complete so <laughs> see you guys in a minute are all put into place yeah okay let me take on a little walk through the house 
turn all these lights on first. Because it's a little dark in here. Stay. There. So this is like the front door. Let me zoom out there. Um, and then this is like where you first walk in. We have like a nice little work from home area. And then we added in a couple of like the fall decor pieces here to the set. But this is like the little living room area. And this pulls out to either be like a super lounging sofa or to be like an actual bed for any guests who want to stay there. And then we have the dining room with our like house manual and then a couple of complimentary snacks and of course some extra little fall decor pieces here um i tried to use as much inspiration from like this dining room table and then these are actually from around the house anyway um as well as like all these rocks here too those are all from the house and then of course gotta love our little plant and then we have like our coffee station with a couple of nice little pieces here. They have like stars and the moon. Um, I don't know. I love these when I saw them. And then of course got like toaster, cutting board. This is like a tea set that you can fill up with water um, and put it right on the stove top. And then you have like this little insert right here that you can put either loose leaf or like your regular tea bags in it. This is perfect for winter time up here because it gets really really cold. And then of course some little actual little fun pieces. Um, this is one of my favorite features of the house to be honest. It is like a water bottle refiller. It's completely filtered water. Um, so absolutely love that. And of course, have some regular coffee here. If you ever decide to want to have like a full pot of coffee, you can. Um, and then of course, like your towels. And you got all your spices and things here. And then over here is the pellet stove. I absolutely, absolutely love this during the winter time up here because it does get pretty cold. Um, and then you just refill it with a couple of the extra pellets. Got some reading here, doggy bed for whenever you want to stay. And then of course, an extra cozy blanket and some extra coasters. And then in the first bedroom, this is what we have here. This one actually pulls out to be like a king size bed. So you can have two people who stay in here. Um, and then we also have these AC units throughout the entire house. So. I love this room. Oh, and there's also like a nice little area in here. We have some extra hangers in case you're staying for a little bit longer, but that is free for guests to use too. And then here we have our bathroom with a couple of extra towels up there. Get some extra toilet paper. And then, yeah, we also have Shampoo and conditioner available for guests to use. And then, oh, this is our little stars. And then here is the master bedroom. We have a guitar for guests to use, a couple of extra towels here, um, and then just the bed with the AC unit. We do have in here a little hamper for guests to use. We have extra pillows up top. Um, and then of course we have like the iron and the ironing board right up there. And then a couple of extra hangers too. And then in here, we got an extra couple extra towels, a first aid kit for use, and then a couple of extra outdoor towels. So yeah, this is the casita. Okay, camera quality is definitely a little bit rough at night, but I tried to put like the selfie backlight and like this light on. Let me see how this looks. 
Uh, that doesn't really do much. Plus, I look like a gremlin because it's 10 o'clock at night and I have a two-hour drive home. But I secured the goods from Stater Bros. Um, so I got the salmon poke bowl. Normally, I get the tuna bowl, but um, this is all that they had, so I'm going to eat this. And then I also found and decided to get a California Crunch Roll. This is what it looks like. It's got like some of that crispy, I think it's like onions. Yeah, imitation crab, avocado, and cucumber topped with crunchy onion. Um, and then, of course, I just got some forks to keep in here for who knows what, but also for the salmon bowl. And then I got some gum just because it helps keep you awake while you're driving. Um, and I have some leftover coffee, which is all like melted now. Um, but usually I know that I shared like a video or like a little snippet of the order that I normally get. Um, so when I know it's going to be a long night, I usually get it with a shot. So I get the soy iced coffee with no classic and light ice. And then when I know it's going to be a late, a late I just got like a really weird notification on my phone saying that something went wrong and it automatically like stopped my video. I think there might have been like a accident almost, but we'll go ahead and eat these. Watch some YouTube videos, of course, and then start on my way home. The past couple of times though that I've been on the way home like this late at night, there's been something that has gone wrong on the highway and it's been like shut down. So one time there was a accident on like an on-ramp to a highway, but that was like the only on-ramp that you could take. So I had to completely go a different highway and then the whole route was changed. And then the time after that, there was like a huge accident on the 91 and all lanes were shut down. Like we were stuck there for like a good hour um, and it was already like midnight. So I didn't get home until like almost two. It was just, it was a whole thing. And then also on the 91, there was construction that was being done and they had all the lanes blocked off and it was like at a snail's pace crawl because the construction team was like setting up all of the cones or they were taking away the cones or something like that but that one took like an extra 30 to 40 minutes so crossing my fingers that tonight everything goes by super smooth there's no shutdowns no traffic issues going on and I can get home before one because tomorrow is Elias's birthday and I took off of work so I don't know I'm thinking about going and doing something fun with him maybe uh, either getting breakfast and then going to a park or maybe doing part time and then lunch time together I don't know but we're also gonna pick up his cake we're gonna pick up some decorations because uh, later on tomorrow we're gonna do like a little birthday celebration thingy and then this weekend we're going to sesame place in san diego for like his birth birthday party um yeah we went there last year and it was a lot hotter around this time last year so it was like perfect so we were anticipating it to be hot towards the end of september here in los angeles but this year is incredibly weird and it's kind of cold already so it's supposed to be like a high of 74 which is still pretty warm for the end of september for like compared to other parts of the country but for los angeles it's normally like 85 90 degrees out right now um so it's a little bit different it's interesting having fall actually happen around the fall time versus in like November December time um so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and dive in eat my sushi um and then I'll probably check in either tomorrow and I'll do like a continuation vlog type of thing or this might be
the end of the video and I just put like a little something because I'll probably just crash as soon as I get home. Um, so 